Here we have a classic shaded area problem. Let's begin by writing down all the information we know and either drawing a new picture, or in this case, I'll just label the picture that we have. And we'll go through the problem and see what they give us. So they tell us that O is the center. They tell us that BC is tangent to the circle at B. We know that A lies on that segment OC. We're told that OB and AC are each six. So this is six and this is six. What is the area of the shaded region? So we want the area of this piece. In shaded area problems, almost always the plan is going to be find the area of something you know how to find the area of, find the area of another thing you know how to find the area of, and hopefully when you subtract them or add them depending on the problem, that result will be the shaded area. So to me, the game plan looks like it's going to be, let's find the area of this triangle, and then we'll subtract out the area of this wedge, and that will leave us with the portion of the triangle that's shaded. With that as our plan, let's begin with finding the area of the triangle, and there's a few facts we need to bring into play here. First, they told us that BC is tangent to the circle at B. We also know that OB is a radius, and a good rule of thumb, a good fact to remember, is when you draw a radius to a point of tangency like this, it creates a right angle. So this is, in fact, a right triangle. That's good, but um, I still can't find the area because I may have the base, but I don't have the height. So note, another important fact with these circle questions, watch where your radius is and see if your radius gives you more information because we know OB is a radius and that's 6. And we also know that OA is a radius, and so it should also be 6. So now we actually know that this whole hypotenuse is 12 to go with the leg of 6. And so now you may recognize it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and from that, determine that that, that side has got to be 6 radical 3. Or we'll just call it X and do Pythagorean, the the Pythagorean theorem. Either way, you should be able to find the other side of this triangle. So it should be X squared plus 6 squared is equal to 12 squared. So X squared plus 36 is equal to 144. So x squared is equal to 144 minus 36. So 144 minus 36 is 108. So x will be the square root of 108. And so if we simplify this a little bit, I guess there's a factor of, what, 4 that goes into this? Yeah, so I can pull a 2 out, so it's 2 radical 27, but there's also a, a factor of 9 in that 27 that I can take the square root of, so another 3 comes out. We should end up with 6 radical 3, which, by the way, makes sense if you see this as a, two, a, 35, uh, sorry, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, because I've got one leg, which is half the hypotenuse, and that tells me I've got a 30, 60, 90, and so it makes sense that the other side would be 6 radical 3. Next, the area of the triangle is 1 half base height. I now have the base. Well, I had the base, I guess. It was 6. And now I'll call BC the height. So that's 6 radical 3. So when I multiply these through, I get 18 radical 3. So that is the area of my triangle. But now, again, the, the plan is going to be, let's subtract this sector. Let's subtract that wedge. So how do I find the area of this sector? This is where we'll need to, hopefully at this stage, recognize that we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So again, if I pull this triangle out, uh, this side we'll call 6, this is 6 radical 3, and this is 12. And if you look in the reference area for the 30, 60, 90 triangle, you'll see that our triangle fits those ratios of those sides. So the side across from the x radical 3 side, right, this is your x radical 3 side, is 60. And so if we go to this triangle here, this is my 60 degree angle, and this is my 30. But what I need here is this 60, because what this tells me is that this sector, this wedge, is 60 out of 360 of the circle, right? If there's 360 degrees going all the way around the central angle, this angle is 60 out of that 360. Or in other words, this wedge is one-sixth of the circle in all the ways that matter. It's one-sixth of the central angle, it's one-sixth of the circumference, and in our case, importantly, it's one-sixth of the area of the circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So in this case, it's pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply that by 1 sixth or divide it by 6. Either way, we find, therefore, that the area of this sector is 6 pi. And so let's go ahead. We'll subtract that from the area of the triangle. And what we're left with is the area of the shaded region. And we look at our choices, and that matches choice B.